My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, <clears throat> I welcome you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Tonight's reflection will come from 1 Samuel chapter 26, from verse 1 to 25. 1 Samuel chapter 26, from verse 1 to 25. And the theme of our contemplation is, Your enemies are in deep slumber. Your enemies are in deep slumber. Let's go into prayer. Father in heaven, I, your word is seven, stand before your presence to present before you your children in this line and many people that will be listening to this anointed message. You were able to protect Job from the satanic allies. You were able to protect Job from being destroyed by Satan. You were able to protect Daniel from the wicked men and women of his own time that wanted him to die. Father, you are the one that will put our enemies to slumber in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, you knew the, the plight of the enemies when you told the story about the wheat and the weed. He said, enemy has done this. Jesus, you watch over your people. You know when enemies are attacking your people. You know their roots. And you know the time they come. You always protect your children, Father. You watch everything that happens in this world because you created this world Jesus you understand our situation Father we have come we have come to worship and adore you and to draw strength from you apart from you we are nothing apart from you we can do nothing loving Father your children are craving and yearning for you. Your children are craving for your divine protection. Your children are craving for your divine benevolence. Your children are here because they so much love you. Your children are here because they so much want and desire to be with you. You say, if I and the Father are one, and when God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit dwells in us, who shall be against us? We have everything. And you are our everything, Father. You are my everything in life. Yes, Lord, you are my everything in life. Oh, my Savior. Ewezogagi, odihembo chukoma. Ewezogachiku, odihembo. Oh, sasagi, sasagi onye mwemo. Abo na negi gehicha manya meri. Ikuni bedjum, onye kanga baku. Nena na juma. Oye kaga bakuru apuku meyo. Oh, Father, you are our everything. You are our everything. Our everything is you. You are my everything in life. Yes, Lord, you are my everything in life. Oh, my Savior. Abba, Father, we have surrendered our whole being, for you to encapsulate us, Father, for you to melt us and mold us, use us as your divine instrument, Father. Bless your children that call your name. Bless and protect them, Father. When we are sleeping, Father, be on guard. 
When we are driving on the road, Father, be on guard. When your children are at home, both home and abroad, Father, let your Archangel Michael fight their hidden battle. Ile Erika, Father, bless my as Nande Kano. Father, protect my as Nande Kano. Father, grant Biafra freedom. When the Lord delivered Israel from bondage, it's like a dream. As we have delivered Israel from the hands of Pharaoh, Father, you will deliver Biafra in the mighty name of Jesus. As you delivered Paul and Silas on the prison yard, you will deliver my and and all our poor people in the prison in the mighty name of Jesus. They are prisoners of conscience. While the real actors of the wicked people are still roaming around the street, supported by the present government. Father, I pray and believe that you, my God, have answered our prayer. I take Biafra as a point of contact and pray. Bless all the nations that are in captivity. Bless Haiti people. Restore peace in their land. Bless many Christians that are persecuted all over the world. He said that the hour has come when true worshippers shall worship him in spirit and in truth. But many people are forgetting. Many are afraid even to pray for freedom. That's how bad it is, Father. That people are living in fear of what tomorrow will bring. It is not ourselves that we are afraid. It is our enemies that will be afraid. In the mighty name of Jesus. The ego must fly. Your sons and daughters of the Elohim, the Adonai, El Shaddai, the God that created the mountains and hills and oceans and rivers and seas, He just spoke and they were made. That's the God that we shall be afraid. Jesus said, do not be afraid of the one that can only kill the flesh. But be afraid of the one that can kill body and soul. I put it in the Gehenna. So, Father, I bless your children tonight with the Gospel of Mark chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18. You fortify your children. Fortify my and Nanikan. Wherever he is. I repel and rebuke all his and powers. All evil of the wicked shall never crush him. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bless your children tonight, Father. The enemy shall be in slumber. Your enemy shall be put to shame. They will be sleeping. And the angels will, will come and deliver your children from the prison yard. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you did in the case of Paul and Silas, Father, do it for more than the canoe. And take all glory and adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abba Father. Many innocent ones are being killed. And nobody's talking. Father. You are the one. That we are knocking at his door. You give us in Matthew 7 verse 7. To ask and we shall receive. To seek and we shall find. And to knock. At the door, and the door will open. Open the door of freedom for Biafra. Open the door of freedom and liberate the captive from their captivity. Many innocent ones are suffering from spiritual problem. Not just physical problem. Many families are struggling with a lot of sickness. Known and unknown. Many people are struggling to survive in the hands of the enemy, known and unknown, both home and abroad. 
I raise my hands of Elijah upon you one by one. That the Lord will liberate you from captivity. As you are traveling on the road, wherever you are, the Lord your God will put the witches and wizards into slumber in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not see your children when they are going to school in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not see your family when they are going to school or market in the mighty name of Jesus. They will never be around them. They will never be around where the danger is. Father, I pray tonight for your children one by one that you grant them blessing and grace. Deliver them from monitoring spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless their going and coming, O oh Father. How can your children be traveling around and they are afraid in their maternal homes, in their fatherland, in their motherland? Abba Father, rescue your children. Come to their aid. I present before you all the petitions of your children tonight. Many people have many things to tell you. your children, they have something to tell you tonight. Your children have something to tell you, Father. Listen to their petition, oh, Father. Listen to their petition, oh, Father. Listen to their lamentation, oh, Father. Listen to their lamentation, oh, Father. When they ask, Father, let your children receive. When they seek you, Father, may your children find you. When they knock at your door with prayer and fasting, I say, Father, grant your petition. Abba, Father. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We can glorify you from when tonight. That's what we can give you. In our religion, you created all the cows and rams. What can we offer you? What can we give you? You created everything. That's why we sing praises to you. That's why we adore you and glorify you. Father, accept our petitions tonight. Many people are coming back from work. Many people are still at work. Some are tired. But they know that they have an appointment to choose Jesus. And they're on this line to listen to you, to empower them, and to embolden them. It is in you that we find protection. It is in you that we see light. It is only your power that can strengthen us. Human power is powerless. The divine power is powerful. We need your spiritual synergy. We need your advocate, the paraclete, the ruler. We need your glossalalia. Father, we pray that our coming to you tonight will bless us. Put our enemies into a deeper sleep so that they will not remember your children tonight. Wherever they may be, where they have gathered, scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus. We have gathered to worship you. 
We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to adore the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to adore the King. We have come to worship the living God. We have assembled to adore the King. Father, Abba Father, the ancient of days, your name is so sweet. There is no name so sweet. There is no name so sweet. Like Jesus' name. Like Jesus' name. The Son of God, the Son of God, who died for us, who died for us. There is no name I love, there is no name I love. Like Jesus' name, like Jesus' name, the Son of God. The Son of God, who died for us, who died for us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen, 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 Amen. Amen, amen. Yes, Father. What can I say? You are the word that gives life and food to life. You are the food that we eat. You are the word that we speak. You are the incarnate word. That's why I'm singing praises to you. Bless our gathering tonight. Bless our thoughts and words tonight. That it will bear fruit, nourish us, and strengthen us. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, how are you? I hope all is well with you tonight. To God be the glory. Child of God, do not panic. For God is putting your enemies into a deep slumber. When you look at someone, a wicked man or woman, that is always sad seeing you are success, and sometimes they will just want to make you to be afraid, they want to put fear in you. When you see he, the, the, the man or woman sleeping, you would just uh, pity the man or woman. Sometimes you think that they don't sleep. They do. They are tired because they are human. They are, they are strength. cannot equal that of God. That man or woman in your village, that man or woman in your town, that man or wicked woman in that your street is not more powerful than Jesus. That man that is threatening your family, that woman that has been threatening you, is not more than Jesus. 
Jesus is the one that gave everything life. And he can also take life. The Bible says, I make the poor and I make the rich. The Lord gives life. The Lord can take life. Vita mutato non toleta. Life does not end, but there's transition. It's only in, in the Lord that there's eternal life. With the devil, then life is ending with the devil. But in God, we have eternity. Child of God, we are in the camp of Jesus. We are in the camp of Jesus, child of God. Count your blessings, child of God. After this prayer, look at yourself in the mirror and say, praise the Lord. And see how you respond to the hallelujah. Some people don't have time to look at themselves in the mirror. Talk to yourself in the mirror. Smile to yourself. Share thoughts and words with yourself. Make yourself happy every day. Some people say, oh, I'm so lonely. Make use of your mirror and talk to yourself and be happy. Put your music. Put a gospel music and dance to Jesus. Dance for Jesus. David was dancing in front of the tabernacle. The ark of God. Make yourself happy before the Lord. Child of God, you are not alone. How can the fishes in the ocean say they are not drinking water? Live in awareness of God's presence. Live in the awareness of God's presence in your life. And you will not be feeling lonely. Some people have many people in their life. But they are still looking for people to be in their life. Some people have many people that are rich in his or her own life, but they are looking for someone to help them. You don't know what your brother or sister is going through, and you're saying, I wish I'm, I'm like you. Who told you? The person will just look at you and say, God have mercy on you. You don't even know what I'm going through, and you want to be like me. Be contented with what you have. If you want to become someone, who will be you? Don't be enemy to yourself. Don't be enemy to you. Don't fight yourself, child of God. Some people fight themselves knowingly or unknowingly. The way God has made you, give glory to God. Don't fight yourself. Some people wanted to fight themselves and they end up being, being angry with themselves. You know what I'm talking about. Don't recruit yourself. Don't be enemy to yourself. Be happy with the way God has made you. When we are fighting common enemy and you are there being enemy to yourself, we are fighting external enemy and you are there fighting your family, the devil is a liar. Father, I pray for divine intervention in many families. I pray against many enemies of progress to leave those families alone. In the mighty name of God. Child of God, tonight is your night once again. And that will bring us to the reflection of tonight. First Samuel chapter 26, from verse 1 to 25. And I read, Then the Zephites came to Saul at Gibeah, saying, is not David hiding himself on the hill of Hachilah? 
which is on the east Jeshima. So Saul arose and went down to the wilderness of Aziz with 3,000 chosen men of Israel to seek David in the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul encamped on the hill of Hachila, which is beside the road on the east of Jeshimon. But David remained in the wilderness. When he saw that Saul came after him into the wilderness, David sent out spies and learned that Saul had indeed come. Then David rose and came to the place where Saul had encamped. And David saw the place where Saul lay with Abner, the son of Ner, the commander of his army. Saul was lying within the encamped while the army was encamped around him. Look at that. <laughs> Saul was lying within. Saul was lying within the encampment while the army was encamped around him. You are pursuing someone that did not do anything and you are afraid of dying. Saul will be like your enemy pursuing you but he is afraid your enemies are pursuing you and they are still afraid of you why are they afraid of you because they thought that you are like them that you have charm without knowing that the kind of charm you have is the charm of god you are in the camp of jesus you are in the court of jesus and they, 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 they don't know what is giving you power. They don't know that your fasting and prayer is working here. They don't know yet that your steadfastness and abstinence is working here. And they are thinking with their own flesh that they are like you and you are like them. And they will be asking themselves, where did you get your own child? Without knowing that you are a child of God, and the ego must fly. No matter the turbulence, the ego must fly. Saul was pursuing David to kill David, but he was protecting himself and was sleeping in between his own army commander and the rest of the soldiers guiding him. Then David said to Ahimelech, the Hittite, and to Joab's brother, Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, who will go down with me into the camp of Saul? And Abishai said, I will go down with you. Child of God, let me tell you. Not everybody will risk his life or her life with you. Anyone that can risk his or her own life with you, loves you. It's only when you are in difficult situation that you know you are genuine friend. David was being pursued by Saul. For no just cause. You know the you know the story of David. He fought and killed Saul's enemy. And Saul turned around to become the enemy of David. It's like you are helping someone. And someone that you are helping turn around to, to plan to kill you. What an irony. And then Abishai said, I will go down with you. So David and Abishai went to the army by night, night. And there lay Saul sleeping within 
the encampment with his spear stuck in the ground at his head. And the Abner and the army lay around him. The people that, that we are protecting Saul were also sleeping. The, uh, then Abishai said to David, God has given your enemy into your hand this night. Now please let me pin him to the earth with one stroke of despair. You can imagine how God positioned Saul in such a way that he was helpless in the hands of David. He was even snoring. I, I could even hear the snoring from here. Don't mind me. But this is how God fights your battle. I always tell you, Hand over your fight to God, and you will see how God will fight for you. God will fight better than the way you wanted to respond. Sometimes you may be responding, uh, and you make mistakes. But the patient God that created you and even your enemy understands you. and know, I know what the enemy has been doing to you and your family. And God will fight your battle very well because he's a just God. Abishai said to David, God has given your enemy into your hand this day. And this guy was begging David to give him the permission to strike the enemy of David. In the person of Saul. Abishai was desperate. And was even pleading with David. And he said, I will not strike him twice, only once. <laughs> I will not strike him twice, only once. Just command me. Allow me just to strike this sword. That was pursuing our, our, our master David. But David said to Abishai, Do not destroy him. For who can put out his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? You know, in the old, old day, olden days, the kings were anointed like the priests. So David respects God and his uh, divine instruments. He didn't want to soil his hand with blood. He didn't want a revenge. He wanted God to do it. And David said, as the Lord lives, the Lord will strike him. Or his day will come to die. Or he will go down into battle and perish. Look at that. The Lord forbid that I should put out my hand against the Lord's anointed. You see how David was respecting God? Rather, he had another plan. They take down the spear that is at his head and a jar of water and let us go. That was the only thing that David could do to prove to him that he saw everything. He saw them, but they did not see him. The evidence that David heard was to take the spear of Saul and his uh, jar of water. Because they were very close to Saul. You are pursuing someone to kill 
And that person came where you encamped. And all your army commanders were put to slumber. Not just sleeping. They were put to slumber. They were sleeping, lying supine, and snoring. They were helpless before David. I don't know whether you will understand the scenario. You can imagine someone pursuing someone. And you didn't know that the person you are trying to kill already saw you. And saw where you were. And came to where you were sleeping. And said, look at you. You wanted to kill me. And God, I put you in my hand. All this you are barking like dogs and roaring like a lion. You are not even a lion. You are roaring like a lion. But you are not lion. That you are behaving like, like your dad or mom does not make you to be your mom. Or make a neighbor on me. Or make a neighbor on me. That you are barking like a dog doesn't make you a dog. That you are roaring like a lion doesn't make you a lion. The same thing is applicable to the the, 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 the the satanic allies. They threaten the children of the light as if they have something to offer. But it is true, God's power is bigger than any kind of evil, evil men or women, in your life. And look at what David did. He told the man that came with him only to collect the spear of salt and jar of water from his head. And they went away. No man saw it or knew it, nor did any awake. What kind of sleep do uh, we are there? God's hands, we are there. For they were all asleep because a deep sleep from the Lord had fallen upon them. That is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 26, verse 12. A deep sleep from the Lord had fallen upon them. That was how the Bible described it. It's not ordinary. The hand of God was with David. And God made Saul to be in that deep sleep, deep slumber. As if to say he took an overdose of a sleeping pill. That's the way I can imagine or describe it for you to understand. When God is fighting your enemy, you can imagine what happened in the, in the case of David and Saul. Then verse 13 says, Then David went over to the other side and stood far off on the top of the hill with a great space between them. And David called to the army and to Abner, the son of Ner, saying, Will you not answer, Abner? Then Abner answered, Who are you? Who calls to the king? And David said to Abner, <laughs> the commander, Are you not a man? Who is like you in Israel? Why then have you not kept watch over your Lord the king? For one of the people came in to destroy the king your Lord. This thing that you have done is not good. As the Lord lives, you deserve to die because you have not kept watch over your Lord, the Lord anointed. And now see where the king's spur is and the jar of water that was at his head. Look at that. What an insult. Saul recognized David's voice and said, Is this your voice, my son, David? Look at that. When did David become your son? 
Your son was Jonathan, and David was the one that you wanted, wanted to kill. But now he spared your life. You are calling him your son. It is my voice, my Lord, O King. And he said, Why does my Lord pursue after his servant? For what have I done? What evil is on my hand? Now and therefore let my Lord, the King, hear the words of his servant. If it is the Lord who has stirred you up against me, may he accept an offering. But if it is men, may they be cast before the Lord. For they have driven me out this day, and I should have no share in the heritage of the Lord. Saying, Go, serve the Lord, for the King of Israel has come out to seek a single flea, like one who hunts a partridge in the mountains. Then Saul said, I have sinned. Look at that. Child of God, your enemies must confess in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemies must confess. Your enemies, those that are pursuing you, Hagas Asisa, in the mighty name of Jesus. Saul confessed before David. Saul said, I have sinned. Return my son, for I will no more do you harm. Your enemies will ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemies must ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemies will be powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enemies must be powerless and they will ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at Saul. Saul realized that he was the one pursuing David that was innocent of what he was thinking. And he started confessing. He started asking for forgiveness. I have sinned. And he was begging David to come back. For I will no more do you harm. I will no more do you harm. <laughs> if you were to be David, will you believe him? <laughs> I will not put out my hand against the Lord anointed. That was David. Behold, as your life was precious, this day in my sight. So may my life be precious in the sight of the Lord. And may he deliver me out of all tribulation. Then Saul said to David in verse 25, Blessed be you, my son David. You will do many things and will succeed in them. So David went his way and Saul returned to his Bless the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Child of God, you saw from the reading that Saul, that was pursuing David to kill him, was now blessing David. The people that condemned you will sing your praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Claim tonight's blessing, child of God. Ndini ni na acho ndo wogi na izuno na u. Chine ke geme ka ha dendo. Fuka chuku ge su dozi. All those people that are pursuing you and digging the pit for you to fall, they will be alive and see how God will bless you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at Saul that was pursuing David to kill him. Turn around to bless David. And even calling him his son. And blessing him. And say you do many things and will succeed. Child of God, you will succeed. Your enemies will start singing praises to your God. Your enemies will start singing praises. And asking God to bless you. God will use your enemies as a ladder for you to climb and be promoted in the mighty name of Jesus. 
God will use your enemies to make you to reach your greater heights in the mighty name of Jesus. Just listen to Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 26, verse 25. He was praising and adoring God and blessing, and blessing David that he wanted to kill. May God we serve bless you in front of your enemies in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, oh, 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 yes, yeah, one now. Madu kucha chukwe kwe. When God blesses you, nobody will take away your blessing. When Jesus says yes in your life, nobody can say no. When your enemies are plotting against you, and it's not yet your time. Nothing will happen to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In your area of work. When enemies are plotting against you. Let me tell you child of God. That plot. Your enemy is plotting against you. Will be. An exhibit. An evidence. Against your enemy. And they will use that plot to see the weakness of the enemy and evict that enemy. And you will take your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. When someone is about to kill you for no just cause, God will turn around and kill that person. You will go for the funeral of that person in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 7 from verse 1 to 2 says, The measure with which you measure others will be measured against you. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 12 says, I will bless those who bless you. And I will curse those who curse you. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 says, for he must reign until he has put all his enemies under your feet. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25. God will put your enemies under your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Go and look at the book of Psalm 110 verse 1. It says, the Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Look at that. God is fighting your battle, child of God. Book of Psalm 110, verse 1. The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. Onye kamada kachio. Onye kamada kachio. We are pursuing someone to kill someone. Why? You are not the creator of that person. You can never be that person. You cannot have the, the gift of that person. Why are you trying to waste God's instrument? When Saul in the New Testament tried that, Jesus intervened. And the voice from heaven said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Many things we are written in the Bible for us to know that such a thing that is happening in our own time happened in the Bible. And this is how it was treated. For us to know that the eyes of the Lord is upon us. So one to one, we look upon the Lord where our help shall come. Our help shall come from the Lord, not from mommy spirit, not from cults, but from the living God. Hebrew chapter two verse eight says, 
He has put all things in subjection under his feet. For in subjecting all things to him, he left nothing that is not subject to him. But now we do not yet see all things subjected to him. Look at that. God will put your enemies under your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. When they are pursuing you, they don't even know that their God is already there to wage war against them. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 14. The Lord, the Lord will fight you about the child of God. The sons of those who have afflicted you will come bowing to you. And all those who despised you will bow themselves at the soles of your feet. And they will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Look at that. Jesus. Child of God, raise your head high. Your God is there to fight for your battle. Book of Psalm 47 verse 3 says, He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Look at that. Our God is fighting our battle, child of God. Our God is fighting your battle. Let's go into prayer. Take in deep breath, child of God, and breathe out. Remember that God that made you did not give you the source of timidity. Present before the Lord your petitions. Present before the Lord your petitions. Report your enemies to the Lord. Mention your enemies one by one. And make sure that you are not enemy to anybody. Make sure that you are not enemy to anybody. Make sure that you are just. Make sure that you are just. And you are seeking judgment from God. Loving Father, we thank you for tonight. We present before you, Father, the names of these people that have been torturing and tormenting your children. Father, fight the enemies of your children. Father, deliver your children as you deliver Daniel from the den of lions in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When the king and the wicked people thought that they would fry and roast Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you were able to send a garden angel in the fiery furnace to diffuse the hotness of the oil that would have engulfed your children. And so, Father, any poison that they have given to your children to kill your children will not kill them in the mighty name of Jesus. Any plot against your children to be removed in their office will not work in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, remove every dark cloud Hovering against your children. Remove that cloud. Hovering against any family. By the enemies. Trying to destroy the families. It will never work. In the mighty name of Jesus. The more they fight you people. The more united and lovely. And peaceful you are. I stretch out my blessing hands upon you. One by one child of God. That tonight will bring you divine blessing. That tonight will bring you divine revelation. That tonight will bring you divine arrangement. What you are seeking from the Lord, 
And the Lord will provide for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. May God answer your petition and grant you divine protection, both in dream and daylight, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And child of God, I'm going straight to bless the water and salt. We're almost coming to the end of this month. You see how how time flies? Father in heaven, you have given us salt and water for us to be using for exorcism and for blessing of your people. I exercise your salt that you no longer be ordinary salt. I exercise your living water that you no longer be ordinary water. Lord, uh, in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, I bless these salts and I bless these waters that we have brought with faith that they will no longer be ordinary salt, they will no longer be ordinary water. They will be filled with your divine efficacy for divine protection of your people, for sanctification of your people, for protection of your people in the name of God the Father. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open your hands. Father Lord, bless the destiny of your children. Brighten their star. Anoint them, O Lord. Replenish what was lost and stolen by the devil. O God of love, bless their destiny. O God of love, Bless their destiny, O God of love. Bless their destiny, O God of love. Bless their destiny. We are knocking at your door. We are knocking with prayer, O God of love. Bless their destiny, Abba Father. We thank you for blessing your children tonight and blessing their destiny at this hour. I pray that whatever good thing that they place their hands upon will be a success. They will be successful in their life. They will be able to pass the exams. They will be able to excel higher in the exams, Father. Bless your children that are still struggling with the exams to pass in the mighty name of Jesus, never allow the enemies to laugh over them. Never allow the enemies to cajole them. Father, bless your children that call upon your name. Brighten their star. Brighten their destiny. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, put salt in the water. May the mixture of salt and water be made in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and glory of forever and ever. Amen. Father, we thank you for giving us this noble, this noble family, this water and salt. You are blessed. I pray that wherever we place this salt and water, and with faith sprinkle it around us, that every place, every nook and cranny will be blessed and put the house and family under divine protection. I bless and I place your house under the hedge of divine protection. When you are sprinkling this water and salt, made in, blessed in the name of God, the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit, your family and your whole entire uh, people in that family will be blessed. When you are stretching this blessing to the people at home, let the sprinkling of this water and salt that have been united in the name of God, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Grant those people you call their names and sprinkle the word that divine protection. If the incantation and libations of the enemies can work from afar, 
your own incantation and libation in the Lord will work better than that one. I enjoy you and I empower you to do that incantation and libation in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And cover and protect your family both home and abroad. And bless your family both home and abroad. And God will okay it. Jesus said, blessed are those who do not see but believe. Our God is everywhere. He's only knocking at his door that can open the door. He's always there waiting for us to open the door. If you open the door, the Lord will enter your house. And, and so, Father, we have gathered tonight and you have given us this instrument, this divine instrument, to fight the evil and the wicked people. When we sprinkle this water around us, let there be peace in that family. Let there be love in that family. Let there be serenity. Let there be understanding. Let there be a mutual understanding and love in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Child of God, we have blessed the salt and water. And now we are about to bless the Bible. Father, you have given us the gift of the Bible. Your word is alive and active. I pray that you continue to bless our Bible. When we place it at the altar, Father, bless that altar. Bless that altar in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the chapel in various families. We are the, the gathered together to call the name of you, my God. When they call upon you, answer them. When they open the Bible to to, to, to read and to pray, Father, reveal yourself to your children. Empower them. They don't have any other power but the Word of God to empower them. The Spirit of God to encapsulate their being. Grant your children that spiritual synergy so that when they are confronted by the devil, they will be able to repel and repel that evil prosperities around them. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are blessing the candles for the new month. Father, you are the light of the world. I pray that you bless this candle wax. When they are, your children are praying with the candle, Father, melt away their problem. Melt away the evil forces around them. Any incantation or libations against them, Father, crush. Father, crush them. Father, crush them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, annihilate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless your children that call upon your name. Let the light from this candle that represents your light in that house illumine that house and shatter the darkness of the satanic allies in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And blessing tonight the oil. Father, you have given us the gift of oil. I pray that you bless all the oil in this life. The oil of gladness. Oil of divine protection. I pray that you bless the oil that your children are using tonight and always with faith. I pray that you bless the oil. Jeremiah says, there are no balm in Gilead and my children's wounds are no longer healed. When we put oil on, on, the, on the hinge of the door, we stop making noise. Let the noise of the enemies, let the noise of the enemies not crush your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the voice of the enemies, both home and abroad, not shatter your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, repel and rebuke every part, 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 any type of incantation or libations of the enemies. Repel and rebuke all evil forces against your children. When they are trying to attack your children in dream and daylight, rebuke them. Repel them. Get away from that body. That body belongs to Jesus. No evil forces shall touch your children. No witches and wizards shall touch them. I annihilate those evil spirits. 
those monitoring spirits around your children to go away in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I'm talking to you. Go away from that house. My house shall be house of prayer. You cannot threaten the, the people that are in that house. That house does not belong to you. You don't pay house rent. I pray that you repel and rebuke all prosperity and powers that are causing sickness in the, in the body of your children. That your children will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. When they rub this oil upon their body, Father, grant them healing, grant them protection, grant them healing, grant them protection, grant them healing, grant them protection in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, child of God. Say amen, child of God. And now I'm blessing all the religious articles, all the sacramentals, rosary, all the crucifix, all the status. St. Anthony status, St. Jude, Legion of Mary, Sacred Heart, Immaculate of Mary, all the prayer books. Father, you are the one that have given us all these books on the inspiration from the saints. Our Divine Mercy prayer books and chaplets. Father, Lord, we thank you for giving us all these sacramentals. In the Old Testament, when this, the poisonous serpent beat the Israelites because they offended Moses and Aaron, you sent the poisonous serpent to beat the people. When they called, when they called upon your name and asked for forgiveness before Moses, Moses called upon you and you answered Moses. And he told Moses to mold the bronze serpent. It was not the bronze serpent that did the people. But for, for the people to know that whatever your prophet or your, or your, or your divine instrument touches the hand, that there is power accompanying it. That's why you told Moses to melt a mold bronze serpent. Those people that were beaten by the poisonous serpent, they looked at it and they were healed. You would have told them, oh, be healed. I'm forgiving you, be healed. No, but you were able to say that you have to teach these people that when my divine instrument is doing my work, that there is power coming from them. That bronze serpent that Moses murdered became powerful. That when they looked at those bronze serpents, they were healed. And Jesus in John ch chapter 3, from verse 14 to 16, said, As Moses lifted up the bronze serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Jesus recognized that bronze serpent. And so, Father, all the sacramentals on this line, I stretch out my blessing hands upon them one by one. That you bless them one by one. That they will no longer be ordinary man-made items. Let them be filled with your sacramental grace. Fear with your spiritual synergy. When we place those sacramentals in various houses, it will repel all the prosperous and power. It will repel marine world and marine spirits and crush them in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Mother Mary, when we pray the rosary, he said in Gospel of Luke chapter 148 that all generations shall come in blessed. When we are calling her blessed, Father, let favor that accompany her intercede for us. Through her powerful intercession, let all the favor, divine favor, that you have bestowed upon our Mother Mary follow us in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Mother Mary, the great mediatrix of her time, will intercede for his own children, for her, for her own children, that we shall be blessed by Jesus in the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm blessing all the all the tablets, all the lipids, all the ointments that you put on your body, the sick people. Father, 
He said that it is only the sick that needs a doctor. I pray that you bless all their tablets, their liquid ones, the ones that they anoint on their body, the ones that they put in their eyes and ears. Father, we thank you for giving us the gift of the medicine. Remove all side effects from there. Let your children drink the medications you have given them and let it work accordingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for many people that have diabetes. I pray for divine healing for them. Free them from that complication. Some of them are tired of getting medication. But you, my God, you know the best. I pray that you heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you bless those that are going through high blood pressure, hypertension. Father, bless their medication. I pray for healing for them. Sustain their health. Sustain their life in the mighty name of Jesus. All the people that are going through a lot, some are suffering from cancer, tumor, and many things, radiation. Father, you are the one that will heal them one by one. Many of them are having oxygen tube, an oxygen tank. Father, I pray that you bless them. Bless their lungs, bless their heart. Free them from pulmonary problems. Free them from shortness of breath in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for divine healing upon your children. It hasn't been easy for many families. But I know that you, my God, will set them free. In the name of God, the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm blessing all your children. Father, Lord, I thank you for giving us these children. Bless them in their studies. Bless their going and coming. May they be blessed. May they be successful in life. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I'm mm -hmm. blessing all the parents of these children. Father, it's not easy for them. Some of them have one or two jobs. Sleepless night. When they are driving on the road, Father, let them not sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, be their God. Wake them up. Let them not be carried away and they think that they have reached home. Devil is a liar. I pray for divine protection upon you. As you have moved out from your family and go to work, you will come back safe and sound. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you bless each and every one of us here. Bless our siblings. Bless our home. May we hear good news from home in the mighty name of Jesus. May we hear good news from home and abroad in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless each and every one of us here, Father. May tonight bring us divine grace and blessing in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus.